Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. Today in the After Effects tutorials, I am going to show you how to do some of the basic text animation. Up till now we have been only seeing the animations on the whole words of text. But now, today we are going to learn some of the character based animation techniques. First of all, let us preview that what we have to create. These four animations that are all based on the individual characters are what we are going to learn in today's tutorial. So let's start and see that how it can be created. First of all, you need to go to composition and create a new composition. Name it anything that you want. I'm naming it character based animation. Make sure that the frame rate is at least 30 frames per second and the duration of 5 seconds is okay. Now hit OK. First of all, we are going to add a background layer. So just right click in the layer area, go to new and add a solid layer. Name it BG for background and choose any color that you want. Now just lock this layer. The next thing we are going to do is add our text layers. So go to the text tool and type in character. Now select it and align its center horizontally. For the next text that is based, we are going to create a new text layer. So make sure that none of your layers are selected from here and your text tool is selected and click on the composition area. You will see that a new text layer is created. Now here type in based. Now here we are going to type animation. Next we are going to type techniques. Now using the selection tool select all of your layers and make sure that they are aligned center horizontally. Next thing we are going to do is make sure that these layers are aligned so that they look good. So for that you need to go here and make sure that your guides is turned on. Apart from this you also need to turn your rulers on. Now we are going to use the vertical rulers. Just drag two rulers and place them in the way so that this will be the starting and the ending boundary of all your text layers. If you are not able to see them you can just go to your solid layer and turn it off. Here you will find that there is a black background. Now select your character layer and now we have to make sure that it aligns to these lines. You can just zoom in and increase the character area so that it meets your desired size. The next thing animation. Now when the three layers are aligned, the next layer techniques need to be aligned. Once you are happy with the layers alignment, you can just zoom back to fit and you can turn off the rulers as well as the guides. The next thing you are going to do is turn back on your solid layer and lock it again. Now we have typed our text. The next thing we are going to do is animate this text. We will first start with the character layer. Just expand it. Here you will find an option of animate. Click on it and you will find an option of position. Just select it. As soon as you do that, you will find that a range selector is added as well as a position is also added. So move forward in time around one second, keyframe this position at zero zero, move backward to around one to two frames. And now if you preview it, You will find that this animation is applying on the whole word character but not on the individual characters. For that, you need to just expand this range selector up. Here you will find offset. You will see that its value is now 0. So go to the first keyframe, keyframe this offset value, move forward 
and change the value to 100%. Now if you preview this animation, now this animation is happening on a character basis. Now once the animation of the character layer is complete, we need to animate our base layer. For that, we need to select this base layer and go to the pan behind or the anchor point tool and make sure that your anchor point for this layer is the center of this layer. That is at least over here. Now just expand this base layer. In the animate option, select the scale property. Move forward to around one second when the animation of the character layer is complete and start animating the base layer from about two frames from where the animation of the character layer completes. Set the position of scale to zero, keyframe it, move forward to two seconds and set it back to 100%. Now go back to the place where you have first keyframe the value of scale, expand the range selector keyframe the value of offset and go back to 2 seconds and set it back to 100%. Now if you preview it, again move forward around 2 frames in time and now is the time to animate this animation layer. In our test animation, we created its animation using two properties, scale and rotation. So just expand this animation layer, go to animate, select scale. Here you will find that the scale is added. Apart from this, you will op also find an option of add. So just expand it, go to property and add rotation. Now, set the value of rotation to 90 degrees and the value of scale to 0. Keyframe both of them. Expand range selector 1 and keyframe the value of offset at 0%. Move forward up till 3 seconds in time and select your animation layer. Hit U to bring up the keyframes. Set the value of offset back to 100%, the value of scale back to 100% and the value of rotation back to 0 degrees. Now let us preview our animation. Once this is complete, move forward around 2 frames in time. The next thing we are going to do is animate our techniques layer and this was animated in our test animation using the property called opacity. So as the same drill we need to just expand it, go to animate and here we are going to add the opacity animation. Just select on it, change the value of opacity to 0% and keyframe it. Now. Go to range selector and keyframe the value of offset which you will find at 0% again. Move forward to around 4 seconds in time. Go back to your techniques layer and hit U to bring up the keyframes. Now move forward to 4 seconds in time and change the value of offset back to 100% and the value of opacity will also change back to 100%. Now all our animation is complete. Let us preview it. So for that we need to go to the first frame and make sure that none of your layers is selected. If any of your layers is selected just go to the layer area and click anywhere else. Now we will preview it. This is the animation that we have created and if you are happy with it then it's okay otherwise if you are having any conflict with the speed properties then you can just bring the keyframes close to one another to decrease the speed or away from one another to increase the speed of your animation. 
Further, for a smooth animation, you can always just easy ease all of your keyframes. So that's it for the tutorial today. I hope you all have enjoyed it and keep watching the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge for such cool After Effects tutorial videos. Bye bye.